Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Love Lies and Lace Fronts, where we do reactions, reviews, and commentary. Happy it's, it's Friday, guys. Happy Friday and welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new here, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. These chats are always subscriber only. And make sure you set your notifications so that you can be notified every time I go live, post another video, do a community post, all of the things. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Hey, guys. What's going on? Um, <clears throat> I am late on purpose with purpose. I had to verify something. Um, our sis that um, put up a video recently. Um, I don't know what the rant's going to be ba about, but anyway, um, sis is supposed to be in court next week with the honorable judge Manning. I don't know that we're going to have access to that court because it is the, it is the family violence court. Um, so some of those matters are not played out on zoom. I'm sure some, I'm sure that one, if not both parties would probably be screen recording. Just know, just, just that we know Keisha is a blogger, um, a vlogger rather, and sis records almost everything and everybody. I wouldn't be surprised if she records her proceedings. Would she put it out? Probably not, especially if it's embarrassing. Um, so what I did learn today is that the original case number, we're just going to jump right in. Hello, everyone. Everybody say hi to someone in the chat and make everyone feel welcome. JS, India, and Miss HLS, good morning to the gang stars. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, what I did find out is that the original case number was dismissed. I think someone said that on the YouTube streets. I, I didn't know for sure. Um, not that I doubted anything. I just couldn't see it with my own eyeballs. So um, the original case number that was ending in 2593, I believe it was, um, has been dismissed for lack of service. So I'm not sure, um, you know, let, it, it was said that Keisha showed up late. I'm not sure if the defendant showed up late or not. Um, the respondent, but in any case, that particular case number is gone. So there's a fresh case number. Um, and it's basically the same details, but that is the case that is docketed to Judge Manning. Um, when I called family uh, for TPOs today, um, they said it was no longer on Judge Manning's calendar. So I'm not really sure. Maybe it'll be on Judge Manning's. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Um, but this is all part of um, a situation that happened in a video. Um Sis mentioned to us on the YouTube streets, that's why we're following up on it. She is a real estate agent, we know this, and ma'am had a open house and stated that someone who she says has been stalking her showed up to her open house, took pictures, and posted it on the web. So ma'am filed a complaint. Again, the original complaint was dismissed on March 21st, and there was a new complaint filed on 322. Um, and there is a date set for April 12th. Um, and it's still showing Judge Manning, but according to um the clerk's office, it's no longer assigned to Judge Manning. So I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I also had the old case number, so it's quite possible that um, I would need to double check. But I know that there is some interest because we love a good Korsha, uh, excuse me, Korsha, a good Keisha appearance in court. However, this might not be one that we're going to get to see. I think it's probably going to be on Zoom, but I don't know that we're going to be able to watch it. So, um, and probably just as a matter of you know, family court, TPOs, I don't know. They used to show them, um, and maybe it was because of the pandemic at the time. That's a possibility. Now it's just the interested parties. So, um, but you guys may have already heard this. I just kind of put this together. 
Um, we knew about Judge Manning. We knew about the 12th. I don't know if we all knew about the new case number, um, but there is a new case number associated with this. And um, and that's it. And that's all. If you want more information on this or want to talk about this a little bit more in depth, let me know. But we're that's that's where we're at at the moment. So um, it's it seems like everything is still progressing, but where it's going to go, I don't know. Also, as far as I know, at this moment, there has not been service attached to the latest case, meaning that the person who's supposed to be officially notified by um, like a court processor that they've been summoned, that a summons, uh, I'm sure it's not a subpoena, but more like a summons to go to court for the TPO. There's nothing filed stating that this person has even received notification that they need to be on Zoom court and that they're, um, that they have a pending TPO hearing. So um, if the person's not serviced, you can't, obviously. So I don't know. I don't know how that goes. I, I don't have a lot of experience, you know, in this area. Um, so we're just learning as we go, right? Anywho, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday. Um, YouTube streets, never a dull moment, right? Anyway, let's get into it. Ma'am posted a video recently. So we're just going to check it out, see what's going on. She says, can I vent seriously? State Farm Arena seat holder and goodbye to our home. So is she trying to tell us that she sold the house? I, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what's going on uh, over here. I really hadn't been paying attention um, for many different reasons. Um, one of which is <laughs> severe lack of interest. Um, and, but we're going to see what's going on. I mean, we're here now and we're going to check it out. Um, I don't know if ma'am sold the house or not. If she did girl, get it ready. Um, so the people don't back out. Um, let's see, let me move this around a little bit so we can, we can really see what's going on here, but saying goodbye to our house. What does that mean? Maybe they found a buyer. Wow. I'm about to hit out. Wish the lighting was so much better in here. Okay, this is a lot better. But now y'all can't see my full body and don't mind our ashy floor. I literally just had to strip the floors earlier. Um, and then Jeremy has been reinstalling these doors and painting and getting it together, y'all, because y'all already know what's going on. But um, yes, yeah, so don't mind that. This is my look of the night. I'm about to go out to have lunch. No, not lunch. Dinner. It's 536. Dinner with my friends. And this whole entire outfit is from Shein. Real cute. You're in the last few of my winter slash spring. She has no hips. Bring outfits out because y'all. Dun, dun, the dun. Is <laughs> this clueless unit I showed you guys. Actually, I don't know if this. No, this is good. Y'all, my freaking time is running out. Let me turn around so I can see the face, girl. So freaking cute. So, up oh, a little. Oh, I hate when it. Oh, I hate when it happens. I don't look like that in real life, but it's looking crazy. Okay. Hey guys, Keisha here, and I am on my way to dinner with my friends. Like I just said in the last clip. <clears throat> oh my god. I am really excited because I've been holding myself accountable to these different outings with my friends. <clears throat> You guys know it's been a little over a year since my childhood best friend Anissa passed away, and it literally is she dragging this girl again, the person who she hadn't even so it's been a year since the friend passed away who you hadn't talked to in a long, long, long time that you weren't really hanging out with. But okay, we're gonna go with this. Literally, wow, I don't want to say it came out of nowhere because. She How about this? I lost a friend who I grew up with or something like that. Why bring up like if her friends or family are watching this, why drag somebody who is resting in peace to your nonsense? That's sick. But of course, with exactly. all Let her rest in um, peace. 
Let really the family not be bothered. You know what I'm saying? If they're tuning in and then it's like all of a sudden trigger warning. Um, hey, Kate, wouldn't they fix all of that before showing the house? See, you got stop. Stop it. We're over here at Keisha's. Don't don't apply logic and common sense to a illogical fugazi situation. Please, 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 please spare yourself. Really don't okay? expect a sudden passing if it wasn't like a chronic illness. I don't really know how to explain it. Girl, could you but, show um, anyways, it touched my heart so much. So Me and Anissa hard. were best friends in middle school, to seventh and eighth grade, and we went to high school and we had different friend groups. She was still in band. I was we were in middle school together. I am a grown ass breast implant mother of twins and a fugazi man with an outside of our relationship son. I am doing all kinds of things. It's been damn near 20 years since middle school and I'm still talking about it for content. What? You were best friends in middle school, went your separate ways in high school and what? in band as well because i was auxiliary she played it no she didn't major she did flag she was like flag um girl dancing or whatever it is can you tell us about a time that you guys had a sleepover can you not tell us about her resume can you tell us about who she was as a person rather than what she did at the school like what really this is your good good and she was so good at it um and whatever and then we kind so of good at it or whatever connection when i switched over to westlake because y'all know i transferred high schools my junior year and i didn't communicate with anyone for an entire year at my previous high school it was just so emotional for me as a child y'all we even about to get into all that but anyways fast forward you guys know like those childhood friends childhood best friends those people you grew up with and those relationships you have and sometimes life gets the best of you so we still communicated i spoke to her sister a lot i was really close with her sister as well Iman. you were close with her sister because i think she cooked for you I think her sister has some sort of catering cooking business. It's it's all fiction here. This is fantasy fiction. Something must have come up in her phone. She must have looked at her phone and was like, it was one year ago today. Or she saw my video with the boys to men on there. It's so hard to say goodbye and was like, it's been a year. Maybe I should dredge up the past and bother people. Maybe I should bother people who are trying to get over the hurt of their loss. What? And I still spoke to um, them. Like, they supported my businesses. I supported Imani's business. She had a... Um, she Well, she still does have a Black-owned business. How about this girl I went to middle school who passed away? I was really actually... I became better friends with her sister. And boy, it's just... It's the anniversary. And rest in peace, sis. And to my friend friend, um, the caterer, smooches. You know what I'm saying? Like, sis, what? don't you have anything else to... Don't you have a house to sell? Girl, fantasy Wait, fiction. Um... um what is it called? She's a chef. So yes, you guys. She's remember? a what? Girl, she used to cook for you. The lie detector determined that was a lie. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh. The girl's death came up. Girl, it came up in her phone. And the family and her real friends were posting, so Keisha took advantage of the moment. How did I, I mean, sis, I literally was just like, we all know how this works because our phones tell us everything, right? Our phones like, oh, give us gentle nudges. Um, when I was when I went home last week, even though my dad's passing was six years ago now. seven this past march the minute i hit anglewood 
Siri was like, woohoo. March 2017. Okay. Won't won't Siri do it? Okay. I don't I don't know. Cortana, whoever it is in, inside those androids. They will they will give you that gentle nudge to remind you, hey, last time you were here. Hey, on this date. In your timeline, all of the things, right? That old algorithm, okay? All right, Keisha, nobody, look, girl, stop, please. I see nothing has changed. I don't know how long it's been since we've done a Keisha video. It may, have been, I don't know, it may have been like two weeks now. It feels like it. Um, clearly, ma'am is still up to her shenanigans. I think you have a whole entire... Um, situation in Fulton County that you need to be concerned with. Anybody just coming in, because there's like a hundred of you in the last 10 minutes. There's an update about Keisha's TPO case at the beginning. So Tootsie slide back to the left um, if you want to now or later, but there is a message and a update for you, okay, that you might be interested in. She was a private chef for us a couple of years back. I don't know. She's still not telling us anything about the girl. I'm sorry. I know people, there's some, someone commented the other day, I, I interrupt too much. So go to her channel and watch the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't, I can't not be me. If I introduce her on the vlog when she was cooking, but y'all, when I say, she is bomb. Like Imani is one of those girls who just knows how to do it all. She um, was great at hair. Make so what does that have to do with the young lady that passed away? That's her sister. So what it it's telling me, you know, nothing about the actual woman that passed away. You're talking about ma'am's sister cooking right up and cooking like it was just like all of that but anyway so yeah like anisa we always used to talk about like getting together catching up in person um she did meet the girls when they were much younger but just all of that so we had just finished talking not too long before she passed and then she passed away and i'll never forget because she was the last one to have messaged me so when I went back and I read our messages because I'm like I was super busy like I had so many things going on it was never intentional of course but it was just like I get so many messages on my dms that's why um I try to do better with checking my dms especially from people who I know in real life because being an influencer you know people we not only have our personal um friends and Keisha clearly it wasn't a priority for you to reach to the lady and she might have been trying to tell you that she was ill, she was suffering. Maybe she wanted to connect with you on some letting you know what giving you a life update. Um, there are a lot of people who are suffering with illnesses and want to take a moment to actually say goodbye if they know that their their condition is not, you know, if whatever their condition might be, like that young lady recently who passed away like a month ago that put that song up that went viral. I mean, people say goodbye now. I mean, it's more customary now. People want to say goodbye. They don't want their friends and family hurt. At, why didn't you tell us? Some people hold that secret, you know, like a Chadwick Boseman, maybe just the, the people that knew him, obviously his family, knew what he was going through, but the millions of people that loved him as um, Black Panther, we didn't find out until he was already gone. And at the end of the day, that was a job for him. And, you know, he didn't feel the need to share that with the world and maybe didn't want to have a public battle. He wanted to have his private battle. And we get it, right? Um, but it's possible ma'am could have been reaching out to you to say goodbye or let you know what was going on with her or whatever the case might be. At the end of the day, sis, you blew it. And it doesn't even sound like you knew anything about her other than you're just listing some facts from her LinkedIn and from her social media. Cause it sounds like you had more of a relationship with her sister on some, we'll take two oxtails, some baked chicken, let's do macaroni sides and send us two big salads for the week. Like, that's what it sounds like to me.
You didn't really know these people like that because if you wanted to get in touch with ma'am, when she she would have been in your VIP or maybe she would have called you or you would have reached back to her quicker. You can make up any different reasons why you didn't get back to someone. At the end of the day, you get back to who you want to get back to. If Jeremy was in your inbox, sis, you would you would be in there. You would be, hey, babe, what's going on? The relationships real. and family members that know us and, you know, respond and reply. Like we have an audience of people who truly enjoy watching and supporting us. And you guys are my family. Like a lot of y'all keys, like y'all have grown up with me or are Mercy older than me. So watch me grown up um, and have been here from the very beginning, from when I was 20, I'm 30 years old now. So a lot of y'all truly, truly like are like family and friends, like true friends to me because y'all always are riding for me, always supporting whatever I'm do, doing, checking in on me, commenting, like engaging all of those things. So it was, I, I, I don't want to make excuses for it because I just, I just literally dropped the ball with following up with us finally going out in person like we should have and it just it just crushed yes, my soul y'all because like I said when she passed away I took it really hard I've never lost anyone in my life that I had a true close relationship with so it was like it was really really hard so after that I had decided that I wanted to move forward with doing um bi-weekly or at least monthly outings with all of my best friends whoever can make it like come so at least most for the most part people like we're always staying engaged always staying connected and we're not missing out on each other's lives because life can just get so busy and i'm just so grateful that ever since her passing i have literally been able to maintain that so you guys do see a lot of those outings um now um more frequently because I'm like really staying consistent with it. And I knew I was like, okay, I've been super busy with real estate, super busy with being a mom. And then um, we're about to go out of town and just so much other stuff. So I was like, who's available? So we all coordinated and I'm super excited y'all to just catch up with my girls. So sorry for the long backstory, especially for those who have heard me talk about Anissa's passing before, but I don't really apologize because to be honest y'all, that was my girl. Like her memory is living on forever and a day. I would never stop talking about my girl because that that's like that was my sister and I love her so much. Rest in peace to Anissa. That was like your sister. I love when people say that was like my sister. That's so weird. I know you had not talked to your sister. You talked to your sister a lot, right? You return your sister's calls. A sit like yeah, no, that was a friend you hadn't talked to. You may look. Like a sister and a sister are not the same thing. It's just not. It's not. Um, but on another note, I will say, I, if y'all would have saw what I look, I should have vlogged my entire day. So y'all could really see how I, I how I put this ish together every single time. Because your girl, y'all know we back to doing DIY house projects, um, finishing up some stuff. Like I said, babe had to put those doors up. Finally, we never went back and got those doors, y'all. We never went back. And I think a part of it was, I told you guys, I was super disappointed. After our first contractor um, left and then had severe COVID, I still to this very day do not know what happened to him. Now his phone is disconnected. Like, oh my gosh, I'm just trying not to think the worst and then we had to go like rush and get different contractors for different things and it was just like scam after scam after scam i think people just came in saw a big house and was like yes i can do everything and then literally couldn't do none of the ish that we needed them to do. they saw a big house or they saw some slow slow people <laughs> so um <laughs> they saw some slow slows up in the house and they were like wait a second um it's tax, it's income tax time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh-huh. Sure. That will be $25,512.22, please. Okay. Yes. Okay. And we will get started this afternoon. Come tear your ha house up. And then leave it in shambles, okay? Leave it in shambles, all right? They came in. They didn't see it. Your house is not the biggest of the big house, but they they saw some slow, slow people up in there and were like, we can re-get all their money. We can retake all of it. Um, yeah, that was that. And 
after a while, we were spending much more money than we anticipated. And we kind of just stopped doing projects. And then we had to sell the house and all the other stuff. So, well, not had to, but wanted to. So, anyways, we're kind of finishing up just a few things that should have been finished up a while ago. So, um, I was just doing some DIY stuff at the house. And going. then I had to leave abruptly, pick up the girls, come back. And I should have asked Babe to pick up the girls, but... It's neither here nor there. Um, then I had to go Girl, show a house, and then I had to come like, home and I had 15 I'm minutes to look, to, like to look like this. To look like look like wait. Girl, no, it was me. it was Nesto's construction company. Okay. <laughs> What's going on my Hold on. Let me make sure that my settings is Nesto's Elite Construction, and they took all her money. That's right, because okay. um, Jayla got me paranoid now because we both got Sony's, and she was hollering about the same thing I'd be hollering about when you put your camera in slow mo accidentally, and then it does not record the audio. Let me hold on. I'm back. It was good. It's good. And I see there's a little. Okay, there we go. But anyway, so like I was saying, can we talk? Can we talk for a little bit, you guys? Yeah, I feel yeah. like relax, relax. You don't know us that good. We are so disconnected now because I don't vlog anywhere near. Like I went from dropping y'all off to 50% vlogs to you know, no, actually, I think I feel I feel like before I was at hundred percent vlog almost every dang on day. Then I dropped y'all down to 70%. And most of y'all were all, all, okay with the 70%. Then I had to go down to 50%. Your girl is now down to 5%. Like I am hanging on by a thread getting these videos out to you guys. And um I have two exciting things. So first things first, I totally forgot to vlog it in the last vlog. But when we went to the game last week to go and y'all saw us on the floor, whatever, we are now officially State Farm Arena seat holders. So your girl owns a seat at the State Farm Arena. Clap it up for me. Um, I don't know. I feel like I... I've, filmed my seat on my phone when we were there and then I was editing and then I think I started rendering the video and totally forgot to even tell you guys that big news which should have been attached to that vlog but yes you guys so I purchased a seat at the State Farm Arena so it's mine I'm super excited but it won't be until the next season so 2020 well it really starts they said 2024 October so I am so excited. I'll be going to more games and just we get a lot of perks and benefits. If you guys want to know about how that whole process works, I never knew um, the total price to be a seat holder. It varies, but we are very close to the floor and we get so many benefits parking passes um we also did pick the seats because there's different tiers to being a seat holder so we we got tier one where we um get complimentary food like like we get to go to the chase um lounge area with all like the vip c holders and we get food drinks and all of that and i'm just super excited i was trying to get pictures um and all that while i was there that i didn't even pick no actually i remember i didn't bring my vlog camera because i was like i don't know if i can bring my vlog camera into the um into the arena so that's what happened and i just had to rely on my phone and that's why y'all didn't see the footage but yeah so i just had to say that i'm super excited about that um now i didn't run out of gas <sighs> y'all can we make it to this restaurant on e because babe will be hollering if he heard that noise but the other thing was i feel like the whole disconnect thing that i was talking about since i don't vlog as much i be forgetting to tell y'all a lot of stuff update y'all about a lot of stuff but what i will say is this before i get, get off and let y'all go because i think the rest of this vlog is probably going to be me going to spring break I, no actually no 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 i vlog the next few days and then let the spring break break footage be the spring break footage spring break footage because i know when y'all see us traveling y'all don't want to see the prequel to the travel y'all want to get right to the eventful stuff so i'll go ahead and vlog tomorrow and saturday and then drop it on monday and then y'all will see our travel stuff later on but um i have been working on something and i have been talking to my friends and my family and my man about releasing said stuff y'all are hearing it first because y'all are my keys and my duns and y'all are my riders and I love y'all so much. 
But I have been working on something because... The lie that was a lie. The lie detected determined that was a lie. How can I say this? I'm trying to put it in the right words. What I'm about to release. I'm trying to get my lie together. I don't want to say you guys. Because it's a bittersweet thing to. I'm thinking she's talking about that stupid ass Fugazi diary. Is she talking about that damn diary? She talked about a diary the other day and not the other day, but a couple weeks ago. She's like, my diary is so good. Olivia Pope, girl, what's going on, sis? Um, she was talking about a diary the other day and I was like, sis, nobody wants to see that old stupid ass diary. To finally release this but it's the bitter portion of it because it's not like super positive if that makes sense it's not girl. really like i'm excited and happy about it girl daddy gone contractor gone gas gone money gone okay home right now because of him a lot of my credit repair customers because of him if jeremy promotes the out of me. My like man. anything that because I do a lot of things I feel here and, and Jeremy comes home every day or contacts me throughout his day with somebody whether it be credit like hey somebody man. looking to do this babe I talked to them about you blah, blah. like when we close the deal y'all see the closing video but um just still the point is he really 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 values me and he kudos for doing what you're supposed to do like i'm a mom i don't get kudos for it. he's a dad but just like to just do it without any question just because he just so me and wants me to win so whichever room he's in every room that he's in since i've gotten my real estate license he sits very moment just the fact of the matter is i know this is a, this is a client goal is so instead of planning we get to that goal anyways like y'all let me go ahead into this condo look at me i am I came to the pin cheeks to get some lunch, babe. Had sent me um, some lunch money. I was like, let me. Um, yeah, I might got a little deal for y'all people. But I feel yeah, I might got a, deal a for sense people of without urgency wheels. to deliver and share. And a little nervousness if I do, if I'm honest about it. But just know very soon, y'all. I'll be releasing something. And I'm going to let y'all know when it drops. Um, because. Well, of course you're going to let us know when it drops. Because you want people to come and drop their coins to pay for it. Like, does she really think people are stupid or she's dumb? Like, which one is it? Oh, I'm going to let y'all know when it drops. What are you, just dropping something for nothing? Don't people drop stuff for coin? Why wouldn't you let us know? Come on now. I think she's going to drop that Fugazi diary. I think girl, that... I'll wait for the free 99 because someone's going to get it. And girl, I'll wait on the free 99. You know when you, the saying, you give someone an inch, they take a mile? I think that saying fits well with the... with I have to release. It's about giving an inch and taking a whole fucking um city worth of did she say distance did she say and it's thing? like i said it's like to say something but not say nothing is always hard and i know y'all be hating when influencers and stuff like that like talk about like oh something is coming something is coming but y'all know me when i say something is coming something is coming and one thing for sure and two when things i say for something is coming because i got a closing to pay for when I say something is coming because we got to increase that budget to get this damn house taken care of. When I say I'm coming to try to get every drip drop of extra coin you got, girl, I mean that shit, okay? Certain ain't nothing real or true until it comes out of Keisha Kaylee's mouth. So just know very soon. I'm trying to coordinate the date. I have so much stuff going on with being under contract with these properties. I have my buyers that are still currently searching for properties. Like I'm just trying to get 
I also need to get a new transaction coordinator to deal with the paperwork aspect, or not even paperwork, because you don't really have too much paperwork as a real estate agent we are independent contractors we work for ourselves through a brokerage i think a lot of people also don't understand that but that's neither here nor there but um i do need a, a tc a new tc because our tc who's on our team she switched over brokerages oh look at the makeup oh i look cute but yeah so our tc that was on our team switched over brokerages and um yeah she's no longer there so i am looking for someone who could literally be my rider because i need somebody to be better than me at the paperwork aspect of it and the timeliness of it and when i'm managing so many different things i gotta get here she goes gotta- soliciting from the comment section again for a low paid assistant and we're just gonna watch the shenanigans play out huh I know I have the credit repair, not credit repair, because I always got to throw that in there. It's credit repair. And by the way, you guys are watching this April 1st. Um, If you guys are interested in getting your credit repaired, then please hit me up today because I have buy two for 500 special. So the original price is 300. Oh, it's not, it's not credit repair guys, but if you want to get your credit repair, it's buy two for 500. It's not credit repair, but it's credit repair. It's credit reporting and it costs money. Okay. But if two people come together and it doesn't have to be your man, your husband, your wife, or nothing like that, just two people it can be you and your cousin, you and your sister, you and your mom, whomever, just two people. You and someone else who has fucked up ass credit that doesn't mind someone cutting corners. And maybe doing something that may or may not be something that damn Fonnie Willis and company is going to come knock on your door about. We'll see. For the price of, not the price of one, but significantly discounted. And your girl is getting results. Your girl is yielding results. And I'm going to post some reviews across the screen. I don't really talk about how good I am. I kind of just let you guys when, when the results pop up, I like to post. And I don't even post all of them because y'all y'all will be overwhelmed if I always posted all of my credit repair. Speaking of, let me pay attention. Oh, y'all, watch this have been where I was supposed to get off. I know it. Oh, hold on. Hurry up, hurry. Okay. Oh, freak. Okay, let me just wing it because I just know I'm supposed to get off right here. This The address is not even up right now, but I just know it. I know this is where I'm supposed to get off. Yeah, 51B. This why I need me getting off. I, y'all been y'all know I've been watching my true crime stuff. Yeah, this was right. But I've been watching my true crime stuff. I gotta take a break from it. Too much true crime can really do something on your head, y'all. I be out every little thing make me feel like there's a true crime something waiting to happen. And I'll be like, girl, get out your dang old head. This is not true crime. This is real life. What true crime happens in real life? So I'm not downplaying it whatsoever. But I'm like, I think I've been watching it too much, y'all. Like, way too much. So, um, I picked, I'm trying to find a new show to watch. And I'm like, nothing is like piquing my interest after like the first two episodes. I'm like, oh, this is so whatever. So now I found someone had posted on their Instagram uh, a reel about the secret life of the American teenage what is it secret life of the american teenager yeah that so i never watched that so i watched the first episode it was cute and it's just something different so i'm like okay let's just see if we can get through that so let me watch another episode while i'm on my way because we in this traffic y'all and this is not looking good and i'm out of gas as we know my thing just went off so this is the restaurant we're going to you guys it literally took why'd she lie so quick and say she was out of gas she wasn't out of gas when everybody who knows who has that car she has knows that she'd be out of gas. Girl. Girl, stop lying. It's, it's sad when your first relix, reflex is to tell, tell a story. Okay? Don't tell stories out here when people can fact check you real, real quick. That's not a good habit because it makes you look dishonest. It makes you look dishonest. 
took a Bad fucking stories. miracle to find a parking spot. Jesus she Christ. dropped two f bombs oh, today. Sorry, wow. Mm -hmm. like Girl, sassy now. Salty. Table with my friends. It smells heavenly in here. I'm almost going to guess that heaven doesn't smell like a pub. Heaven doesn't smell like a restaurant, bar, and cocktails. I'm going to just venture to guess it doesn't smell heavenly. Heaven, I would imagine, smells something like uh, a, a spa. Okay. <laughs> I don't think heaven smells like some restaurant cantina that you're going in for six o'clock happy hour with friends. I, I don't think so. I'm just going to. Well, no. I'm going to the secret. Hey guys, good morning, and today's Friday. Um, I'm doing yes. Hey guys, guess what? We got some double doors. Ooh, ooh, we finally got through. We've been in the house for two years. We do it with the door open because our kids are little. And when they go to sleep, they're asleep. And we're really, we're way up under the covers. And it's over very fast. But guess what, guys? Now we got doors. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's, that room not going to be shot. Okay. Yes, we're great. Thank you so much. You get an email by nine tomorrow morning. Okay, okay. Everything good to go. Thank you. Journey's iPad is in the closet. Nothing is in my room. Okay, so pretty Okay. Anyways, you guys, I have not. Well, I've done a house tour, but we haven't updated you guys in a while um, with how the house turned out. And the photographer just left. We're about to put the house back on the market. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. So I wanted to give a final little walkthrough before we, the, well, not we, but the girls <laughs> take part in, you know, being kids. So this is the master bedroom. We had a very, very large master bedroom. So that's exactly what we went with. So we had the ship lab and we had like a lot of the rustic wood type of vibes going on. I think that's the terminology. Don't quote me, but y'all already get what I'm talking about. Like this wooded texture. Like I just love that all throughout. Um, I think I'm still not over the modern farmhouse vibes. I just really, really love that style. So in our new home, which we are going to take y'all to our meeting and I'll film a little bit. We have a meeting. So I haven't updated you guys in a while. I told you guys yesterday that I haven't been talking to you guys that much. We've been getting it done, honey, behind the scenes. So just know that. And we found a house that we really love that we would have to renovate. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, but there are things we have to renovate. Um, however, we have a meeting with one builder today and another builder when we get back from out of town and then we'll make our final decision. So anyways, this is just how the master bedroom looks. And we got the doors up. <laughs> we haven't had doors here since we literally renovated. Um, this is the master bathroom. So we already put this door in and then this door is finally up. We literally never put this, and I didn't have no shame in my game while I was vlogging. I don't know if y'all noticed in the background, like this door, but now we're selling home. So we just decided to freshly paint over the other doors and just put them back on the hinges. And then the new homeowners can do whatever they see fit. Um, so yeah, this was the bathroom. Y'all remember I did this myself. I renovated, well not renovated, but um, I painted this myself, changed the hardware, and then we got brand new countertops. Um, and then this is the shower, the 
um, sit in bathtub and all that other good stuff. And one thing for sure and two things for certain, when you are purchasing a home, the most expensive things are painting if you have to paint the entire home as well as floor installation and the home that we found um that's already on the market it needs both i don't like now we could settle i'm pretty sure if i showed y'all the home y'all be like oh it's gorgeous because it's a gorgeous home like we wouldn't be showing y'all no time soon if we did decide to go with that home but this is the girl's room I'm still deliberating. This was a custom furniture piece that was sent from a collaboration with the company, but I was uh, um, either letting this furniture go with the sale of the home because, you know, obviously we don't need it. But then I saw this girl's channel who does like renovated, um, like this is from Restoration Hardware, one of the best companies ever. And I was like, you know what? She, I'm gonna put her Instagram if I can find it, but I'm gonna put her Instagram across. I think I saved it to my home folder on Instagram, but she does a phenomenal job like refurbishing old um, dressers, cabinets, all that good stuff. Now, I wouldn't do it, although I love a good DIY. When we get to the next house, I ain't it seems to do like DIY. I'm yours doing is gonna be raised by you as a single mother and him. And they're gonna, they gonna be calling another woman stepmama at the rate you're going because you're too busy and everybody business and you're not paid to be in that business i'm paid to be in people business you're not paid to be in people business okay you're not paid i get paid this is what i do for is given that you want to be a blogger that's why you stay heavy in the blog you want to control our news because secretly deep down that's what you want to do you want to be a blogger you want to be the media pay 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 the person who knows what they're doing so we would pay so i look i looked her up and unfortunately she's not in atlanta but i'm pretty sure i can find somebody in atlanta to redo this like i really love this olive green set that she did and i just thought that was so gorgeous and then we would of course do this this bed is not going no matter what home we decide to do new build or whatever the girls room is going to be a custom built room so it's just a lot of dilemmas and decisions but anyways so this is the girls bathroom Y'all don't, y'all, like I said, y'all see. I'm like custom built, custom built from Ikea. Like you're going to just go pick up Ikea stuff, which Ikea stuff is cool. I don't have a problem with Ikea stuff. You know, my office, I've got a bunch of, um, I have a big Ikea unit in my, my office office. And, uh, it's, it's like Keisha, Keisha likes to say a lot of things and then we don't, you know, girl. You say she's lying. Yeah, pretty much selling false. She's selling. She's selling a dream to the to the people that believe in her. You know, it's sad. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> the lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> Oh, let's see, see the house while I'm vlogging, but y'all have not seen seen as a tour. So since everything is clean right now, because we just had to make sure the only room that was not taking pictures of, like look at the show. Y'all already know my room. Just, yeah. And plus I have a lot of nice items in my room. I don't want that to be on our listing photos. It's just no point. But yeah, so the girls is, this is their girls' playroom. Standard playroom type vibes. Um, and then this was a lot of people's favorite bathroom when we first showed the house. A lot of y'all love this bathroom. This was previously downstairs when we first bought the home. And then remember, I ordered a new sink. It came damaged. And then the guy who was coming to install the sink was like, he couldn't, he was coming from like an hour away. There was no other choice the next day, either cancel or move forward. And I was, I just saw that sink sitting in our living room and I was like, let me see if putting some paint on it and changing the hardware would do good and it actually looks great so and we just changed the faucets and we added the shower door we don't really use this bathroom we only use it when we were renovating our master and fixing some stuff in there and we have not been back in here since so they're getting a really nice barely used bathroom what else so i think i've shown you oh let's go the stairs we never got back around to read the window in its entirety but Whoever the next homeowners are, I'm pretty sure they'll be content. But yeah, so they're just black. There's the girls. And the uh, dining room. So a lot of the finishes, like this is a really nice. It, it, I'm going to oil your scalp. 
So this is a really nice, like the details of the home, like we really love, like I said, the ship left right here and like this entryway area, like the details, the details, the details, the details. And then of course you guys can see um, in this room, this is the office room, the details, the details, like when they see the finishes, the lights, the extra pieces added to the wall. I can't even think of the name of it. Um, like they're going to absolutely love it. You're a whole real estate agent and can't describe your own home. The lie detective determined that was a lie. <laughs> the lie detective determined that was a lie. <laughs> Girl, they either have Little House on the Prairie, uh, baby office clothes, or some sort of fantasy frolic Disney princess outfits on. That's it. No jeans, no leggings, no track suits, no swag, nothing, nothing cute. All clothes that can be thrown away, all very cheap, inexpensive clothes. And I would think a bad bitch would have their kids suited and booted, okay? Suited and booted. Period. Okay? I'm just saying. Suited and booted. Y'all also, I don't know, some people were indifferent about this bathroom. It's like, hell, I'm indifferent about the bathroom. I love when we added this golden sink. We did new toilets around the whole house. And then, like, we kind of should have dusted that off a little bit. It's kind of dusty, but y'all can't really tell. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a bathroom. It's just a bathroom. Well, those are like the lights in Jersey Mike's bathroom. Any of you guys go to Jersey Mike's and it's giving Jersey Shore, you go into the bathrooms. And the lights are like those beachy type. Um, I don't even know what you call them, but just some sort of situation. Really yes. Okay. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just a bathroom. It's just a bathroom. It's just a bathroom. And then down here, this is our living room. One of the best parts of the home. People fall in love with it. This is the only thing I cannot stand in this living room is the ceiling fan. Uh, and now the girls can add this balloon up there. Oh, freaking gosh. But Jeremy said he's going to get it now. Um, but yeah, so you step back so y'all can see. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And now... They couldn't the pay... All this time, they couldn't pay someone to go get on a tall ladder and get that balloon down and take that hideous ceiling fan down along with that coachman uh uh i don't even know chandelier over the stairs like that would make a huge difference that is a huge selling point when you have a high ceiling like that and you have a nice light up there you know that that can make somebody want a place right you know, like when you don't get mail, isn't it? Doesn't it feel weird when there's no mail? I just sent Farrah to the mailbox and it's like there's no mail. Wait, hold on one second. Another hour, the kitchen. So we just finished doing a lot more touch ups in the kitchen. Um, you guys probably would have noticed. I don't know how much of the kitchen y'all do see regularly, but we got the island right here everybody loves this custom island that's how your girl did herself shout out to me and then we repainted the cabinets for the 17th billion controlling time and now we finally set on this white but really really nice really really nice and then we did the custom pantry um well this was originally the pantry now it's like the you guys see what type of area this is. And then this is now a custom pantry. Um, the only reason why we didn't this build lady the out she has in a this stalker, but you're showing us your whole house. Maybe her house is already sold. Um, because why would you, I'm just thinking, why would you tell people, you know, why, why, but whatever room right here is because originally this was the laundry room and if you guys are homeowners and know about all this type of stuff you know that there is a certain 
um, protocol for like the draft system of the dryer that has to like filter out the house, blah, blah, blah. So that system is still here. We never closed it off in case because we knew we were not marrying this home. It was just going to be, you know, temporary thing. So the new homeowners, I don't know if they're going to want to put the laundry back in here for the draft system to be in there, but we just ended, did an in-house one or indoor, whatever you want to call it, and have our laundry back here. I'm pretty sure, but you can also get the hole connected to go through out to the hole that's out through there. We just didn't want to do it, to be honest. We just didn't want to do it, but yeah, so this is the laundry room. Then we got a pantry. We actually sealed off this door, so it's not even accessible to open and close, but the new homeowners can unseal it if they see fit and open it and close it and work it and then of course we have our basement they sealed off a door with a window okay so um but you have a door that leads out to it from the kitchen um uh, maybe it's because the uh the deck was rotten but at the end of the day if somebody wants in your house they're not going to worry about unlocking a door they're just going to bust you know what i mean they're going to just bust a bus but whatever i i don't you know what i mean like it's like okay Okie dokie. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. But yes, y'all. Just in case y'all haven't. Baby, take your hands out your mouth, pretty girl. Y'all want to go out of town? Yeah. Daddy asked me the same thing. I just woke up and felt like, let me do my makeup. Do you like it? Uh -huh. Thank you, baby. I like your hair, baby. Thank you, baby. I like your look and like your makeup and your eyelash. Let me see that chill routine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. One. Where's the facials? Seven, eight, mark. One, two, three. Four, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. Y'all got to remember the details in your motions. When your hands go up, it's a flick like this. It's a flick. Facials. When we go over this, we're going to be going over it 10 times a day until tryouts. Their tryouts are coming in. I'm being a chair mom. No, Jordan didn't do it. Um, did I show y'all this? I definitely did. So anyways, that was our home. And then we, of course, we have a basement. Um, but that was our home. Hey, guys. So I'm at Smoothie King. Um... I literally woke up and had to like finish tidying up and stuff, so I didn't have enough time. Um, we're going for a maintenance day later today. I just wanted, in case anybody cares, I'm just like, I'm, I'm so out of it on this video. I'm like, I'm just thinking about my maintenance day, and um, oh my god, look at this mouth, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, Jesus, help this mouth. My god, look at the mouth. Look at that mouth. Talking a lot and brokering deals, okay? Yeah, I was I was just thinking about maintenance. Maintenance day. Yes. Okay, let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. I'm sorry. Uh, mommy dearest, do her makeup but not her hair. Did she take a shower? Why is she buying a new home with a bum? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, Jory is cute. The girls are cute. I, you know, I like the girls. It's not their fault. They got it honest. They, it's not their fault. Why is she okay? Why is she buying a new home with a bum? Well, oh, thirsty. Boston. She thirsted. Damn, Sandy, with those missile command boobs. Good Lord, KK, help your mom out, please. She is, girl. Miss Sandra looks like she wants to just fall over, okay? Those chairs look very uncomfortable, okay? They're not giving 2024 comfortable, functional, and functional, fashionable, but comfortable. You know what I mean? Um, we went to a really nice restaurant. Um, it's, it's like a mid-grade. It's not... Like it wasn't fancy, but what I liked about it, the reason why I say it was really nice was because number one, we sat by the roaring fireplace and they had some very comfortable pillows. Oh my God. The, the pillows 
where we sat, we were right by the fire. And I don't know, I get cold. I don't, I'm not anemic, but I do get cold. Um, and sitting by the fire and the seating, I think the main thing was the seating was so damn comfortable. That gave my whole experience. The food was was really good, um, but it gave it made it a 10. Those damn pillow cushions make me want to go back and find out what kind of cushions those were because I think they were some sort of inside outside material. I enjoyed it very much. Um, but yeah, it's not giving comfortable, it's giving pub pub chairs and also not cute. Okay. Um, let's see. I hear all I hear is Charlie Brown teacher talking like wah 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 the meeting starts in about 20 minutes, so hopefully I can go in here and grab yeah, I noticed the inside door, the inside down, oh, upstairs in the uh, bathroom. I saw a lot of things. I saw the jams not finished, Rick, like refinished because they put the farm door. I saw some things. I did, but I was like, you know what? Um, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just... I, I, my energy level, it's just too much to even point out at this point. It's so much, you know, but yes, I've seen, I'm not sure you'd have to point, give me a timestamp so I can hit back to it. Um, like, oh yeah, I saw that. I saw a couple things upstairs in the bedroom. If that's maybe what you're referring to the linen closet in the bathroom, I think the door handle was pointing up, not to the side, but you know what I mean? At least I'm going to say that like this, at least he's trying to do something now. You know what I mean? Two years ago, he was busy going to get his nails done. Okay. He was busy getting those nails done and I don't even think he had a hammer. So. Okay. So, you know, that's her ninja. You know what I'm saying? My husband got a whole shop. Okay. So everybody's husband is not handy though. And that's obviously that's not her husband. But at the end of the day, everybody's man is not super uh, handy. But let me tell you something. It's so sexy when they get their little uh, tool bag and cut, start laying out their tools and to do a little job around the house is so cute. I love it. Um, so, mm, okay. Uh, but yeah, girl, this girl is lost. She's over here trying to do the most for this man. I mean, we, we see it. We know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Let her. Your girl needs to have a breakfast lunch and dinner, like I always tell y'all, but the Hulk smoothie from Smoothie King is one of my favorite protein, protein smoothies ever, like out of all the smoothie places that I've tried. So um, I got a 32 ounce, which is huge, but it's okay. Hopefully I can finish it. Um, okay. Yeah, that was a little bit much. I don't know what's been going on. This is the second time. I don't know if it's the concealer I'm using because I've definitely been using this powder for like ever. It's like ashy underneath my eye. I have no idea what's going on. I don't have no lip on y'all. Ooh, I think I got some lip gloss in my purse. Of course, it's not always very good. But not the one I need. Ugh. I think I got my glow through. I switch out my purses so much. I think I took it out. I have a lippy, but. Or did it fall in there? No, I think I'm screwed. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to come and let y'all know. Baby, me, we had to take separate cars. He said he had something to do after, which I think I had something to do too. Um, it's Friday. Hopefully our package comes. I ordered y'all already know I'm always ordered from Shein. Even though we got plenty of clothes in our closet. Well, I I know for a fact I can definitely if the worst case scenario our package does not come. I know I can go in my closet and buy some stuff. But the girls, I'm like, they grow so much. I know they got a lot of sandals. We just tried on all their sandals the other day. I'm not pretty sure they got outfits. They got like little shorts. Yeah, they ain't grow that much last summer. 
babe had a dick oh, delivery. <laughs> babe had to go drop off some dick. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go drive by there right now and then we'll I'll text you. Thank you. Okay, babe. I don't even think I lock my door. How do you know? Oh, I got the window sticking out. Oh, how do you know the window sticking out? Well, that's the lock. When the door locked, the window is coming down. The uh, mirror closing. Yeah, I surprised you. You said you're going to surprise the girl with that? Sure, sure. Okay, y'all. Let's go to the store. Where are we leaving our meeting? And when you follow me, oh, yeah, no, I'm gonna I, follow I, I, you. We're gonna look at it and I go ahead and I'm gonna follow you because I, you know, I began lost. You know what? He might have been posting to the YouTube channel so he could have some sort of regular income coming in. You know, even if it was just a couple, I don't know, he even made a couple thousand dollars, but um, he made a he might have made right up under a thousand. I don't, I don't think he was, he didn't make much. That's just my. That's my guesstimation, but just to add to his revenue, if in fact, you know, it's not just her on the mortgage, but who knows? So, oh my gosh, you guys, we nine times out of 10 are going back. <laughs> I know y'all are probably like, girl, make a decision, make a decision. But that's why these meetings are important because the house that we found, um, thank you. The HOA and the property taxes to that property. Oh, signed it. Okay. I'm about to go on the contract with another one. Put in an offer yesterday, and they just called me and let me know that they accepted it. They had a counter, but anyways, um, I guess I'm going to follow Bates. I'm just going to wait for him to start driving. But, um, oh, it sounds Girl, let the shenanigans begin. That I got was not this. I don't remember it tasting like that. But, um, I got to follow, babe. So, we're going to the community right now where the new property would be. She told us to go over there and look and look at the land. And I'm just super excited. Like, I'm so happy, like, that, that it worked out because we were so, well, we weren't so bummed because we told ourselves, like, when we, we're buying our home the first time. We were so inexperienced as first time home buyers. And we were just like, we want it now. Like we want our home now, like whatever. And like I said, we didn't put God in our process, like and consult with him and like really make sure that it was his timing. So then we ended up losing our earnings money twice, all the other stuff we told y'all about, which wasn't a fault of us, but still we just, if we would have put God into it, maybe he could have gave us some warning signs or some cues to like take heed to. And then we kind of just like overextend ourselves. So when we went and, Put, um, went to another, what am I trying to say, y'all? When we went to another, our last apartment complex before the house that we got now, we were like, okay, let's get out of these condos. Like, let's go downsize for a little bit. And then when we did that, we put God into the process and God actually was heavily involved with the home that we currently are in. And it was smooth sailing from the beginning to the end because we literally trusted in every single step of the way. I was like, God. Oh, so God is blessing the shacking. So you put God into it that you are with a man who had a baby um, who got a son that he don't really take care of like that and that y'all shacking okay y'all shacking and put God in it now I've been in the bushes but seen someone some talking about NYC and home shacking and there was a earthquake in New York City or so they are saying on Twitter I've been in the bushes but seeing someone talk about New York City and home shaking and there was a earthquake. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're going to check it out. 
uh, girl, they put God in it on this shacking, this old shackery, the shackery fuckery. And now you want to bring, why everybody want to bring him in it? Okay, Olivia Pope, that damn thumbnail and that big flat behind, sis, my God. Uh, oh, my goodness. Shut up, girl. Who talking too much? What is your point that they brought God into it, girl? Let me check and see on CNN what's going on in New York City. Let's, let's pray. Um, but, you know, um, let's just pray. For the folks, hopefully there was not an earthquake in New York. Uh, but let's see what's going on here. My thing is stuck. Okay, that's a lot. <coughs> Keisha. I, if this is the home for us, da, 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 God. If this is the home for us, or God, align this, da, da, da. And if it's not, we're not going to share. Because when we went back looking, we kept getting, like, outbid. But we weren't willing to overbid for those homes because it was so much stuff that we did not like about those homes. So we weren't, like, upset at all. Um, And when we put in an offer for this one, it was, like, over 40 offers for the home that we own, own now and we won like we literally were like instantly selected after our offer was submitted we put in thirty thousand over asking and it was just such a easy process with our agent and we just knew like it was nothing but god so we told ourselves with this with this process we know like we don't want to get ourselves into a situation where we're just not happy after putting up so much money or doing so much stuff so we are allowing the process to take as long as it needs within reason of course but we're asking god to order ourselves because we love when i so people are just saying, like, I saw someone on Twitter just say, did we just have an a earthquake? Um, hopefully everybody is okay. Um, let's see. 4.8 magnitude earthquake reported in the Northeast, shaking felt in New York City, Philadelphia, and Boston. Story coming, that's on the Weather Channel. Um, definitely felt like an earthquake lasting about 20 seconds. Um, I don't know. You guys saw Taiwan, right? Uh, mm -mm -mm. Okay. Look, um, hopefully everything is okay. I mean, New York City has a lot going on with the underground, everything, the subway system, tall buildings, all of these things. Um, earthquakes are scary. Okay. Anyway, um, I hope not. I really hope not. Anyway, let's keep going and we're going to shut this down. I tell y'all, we look, and babe wanted to film when we went there, but I was like, no, babe, you're not filming this house because no. Um, we don't need nobody trying to look us up, trying to figure out this. Y'all already know I'm not even, it's no elephant is going to be in this room. I'm going to call a spade a spade. Some of y'all are weird as fuck. Like y'all will go look stuff up and go, oh, this is this. Oh, da, da, da. oh, can they afford it? Oh, this and the third. Mind your business. So we want you guys. I love my supporters. Like y'all are, like I told y'all yesterday, like some of y'all, a lot of y'all, majority of you guys are really like family to me. Like y'all been following me for years. So it's like, I shouldn't deprive my family of my milestones or, po or positive things that happen throughout our lives because other haters in a room like we're not gonna let the haters stop our show like god is protecting us every single step of our way not even just with the house but just i am so blessed and anointed and protected by god and i know he has the authority and i have the conviction that he's going to watch over every room that i step in everything that i do every part pro, thing that i'm a part of like every single aspect of my life he's going to watch over it so no matter what people try to do to talk down or be pessimistic about or negative and evil I don't got to worry about that. So this journey, this process is for genuinely our real supporters. And of course, that haters just get a front seat to see like life is still going. I don't do anything to I told you so people or I don't do anything to brag. Like I'm super humble with all of my blessings. And I prayed so long for this to start happening. And I'm just so grateful to share this. Okay. And, the, and how soon do you think they'll be able to start building from the time we lock it in? Um, I think, well, um, I know they got like land disturbance because of course they've already cleared uh cleared and everything. Okay. He was just waiting on me to lock in on that plan. Um and so with us being locked in, um, they'll now be able to tell the county what they they they're gonna put there. 
um, they're gonna have to make some adjustments to the um, to the plans in order to um, fit what you all want. Because like I said, I want to. I want we're gonna have the taller doors in there, um, the longer um, island. So we got to make sure that they got the right dimensions for the kitchen, because that's where the item to be, and um, the doors, and um and it's it it, it it has to be a three-car garage yeah all of those garages over there are where they supposed to be three the other two you can see they didn't follow the, the rules um oh, yeah it's just a two-car garage but yeah it's supposed to be nothing but all three-car garages and they all have to enter like on the side like none no garages are in the front of the house okay okay perfect okay yeah so we definitely love it and we definitely want to move forward so draft that up and send it over and then we'll review and sign and then be ready to go all right sounds like a plan and then we'll be in touch okay talk to you soon all right bye -bye. okay bye. oh my gosh you guys and i know i should definitely be waiting for talking to the other builder who i'm supposed to be talking to he doesn't even know i'm going to be talking about this anyway because we're doing something else about real estate, doing a podcast about real estate. But I feel really confident. The fact that we're getting it way under, well, we're not going to get it way under because we did add some different things to the design that, um, let me go talk to Jeremy. I'm going to talk to y'all later because Jeremy in the car behind me and I need to tell her what she's at. Because at first we were about to say no because I thought she was saying right right here, But she was like, no, just y'all's house will go right here because this is huge. He's, oh my gosh, I can't wait. So, once everything is signed, we'll come and do cute videos and announcement. But for right now, nothing is set in stone. This is just all tentative, and we're crossing fingers that everything works out. So send us your prayers, you guys. And yeah. Hey, guys. Happy Saturday. It is 3 o'clock. And we are headed to... Where are we going, girls? Target. Target. And we got to keep playing. And the chicken place. You already know. And then getting some chicken like they said, dropping off these wigs. And um Yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, they always should be home. Y'all hear that? Like this is why I just don't understand how some people don't embrace motherhood or fatherhood or parenthood. And I know it's just like it can be you don't know how people don't embrace embrace fatherhood. What? What did you, ma'am? What did you just say? I just, I'm like, wait a second. Definitely fatherhood. Or I cannot with you. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You don't know how people can't embrace fatherhood when they got a ratchet baby mom who won't let them go see their son or who can't abide by the other baby mom's wishes to not have their child in your old ratchet TV show on the YouTube, okay? Girl, my thing is stuck like Chuck, okay? All right, hold on. It's stuck like Chuck, y'all. Where are we? 41.32? Almost damn done. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, so they are going to contract. You already know. And then getting some chicken, like they said, dropping off these wigs. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, they always should, you know. Yeah, I hear that. Like, Girl, nobody cares. Okay. Do we hear that? What? I just don't understand how some people don't embrace motherhood or fatherhood or parenthood. And I know it's just like it can be life changing because it definitely is. Like my life will never be the same. Like I was telling my friends, like sometimes when I'm at my friends and they don't have no care in the world, they can just leave, stay, do whatever they want to do. It's like I always gotta keep in mind like I'm a mom so that's always gonna be on the back of my mind but things like this like mamas like this like my girls are always like 
giving me a reminder that life is so beautiful. Like, I'm so grateful to God for giving me this life. I'm so grateful that he chose me to be here because this is just so amazing having like little ones. Like my daughter's cheering for me just come driving. Like, where where do you do that at? Where do you find it at? So anyways, I just want to come and check in because I'm going to be editing my blog. Girl, I'm. She has nothing to talk about. She has nothing to tell us. Nothing to talk about. <clears throat> Jeremy wanted to vlog the process. She wouldn't let him. <sighs> or Monday today, so that while I'm on vacation, I really don't have to worry about anything. So I already got a wig video already pre-approved and ready. So then I have this vlog, and then we can just enjoy the whole entire vacation. And um. And um, I think I do. I need to get another memory card because this camera is just so much bigger. I just can't see myself holding this around. Babe is probably gonna have way more footage because he got the little portable camera I had got him for Christmas. Denver, home of the Denver's. Look at Jaya Dallas. Look at her. TT didn't brought them in Easter basket. I want to smell it too. We've been holding it hostage since Valentine's Day. Leave it to the rich auntie to come over here and bring all this stuff for the girls. Show, show them what PT got y'all. They all came in this stuff or you made this basket? Oh, Lord. They had them in there. She had, they had nothing in there and so made it. So there were chocolates? The one they had had basketball chocolates. in it. It was like basketball, ninja turtles. Baby, I keep telling you. Baby, they cost $25 a thing. They can't even see what kind of haul you're doing. Oh, yeah. They can't even see what kind of haul you're doing. The camera lens right here. All right, I'm sure if I cut this off, someone's gonna say, "Oh my God, but you missed such and such. You missed, you missed something." Okay. Um, I'm not saying a word at this moment. I'm not saying a word. Okay. Nathaniel, I'm not saying anything. Oh, they're saying. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm not saying a word. I'm not saying a word. Um, the rich auntie. Okay. I'm not saying the word. I'm not saying the word. I'm not saying the word. Let me tell you something. It's taken me a long time to not help. It's taken me a long time to do my little con uh, commentary. Now the kids, they get it honest. They're super look cute. They're just doing what mommy tells them to do. It's cute. Uh, mom is foo gay z. What is it with this this K Ali perfume? Is that still the damn? I don't know what the fascination is with the K Ali. Some of you guys might like that, and that's fine. Um, oh, okay. She just got the K Ali. Okay, she's been holding that since Valentine's Day for her sister. She made a big deal about buying her sister some sort of apple, apple something or other. Okay. All right. Let's, I'm going to let it keep playing because you guys are going to say something. They'll be like, but you missed a part. Okay. All right. I can't be anywhere near the smoke alarm beeping. Oh, is that, is that what's going on over there? Hold on. Is a five, seven, one, two, three, five, seven, one, three, five. Seven, okay, girls. One, okay. Here he no, is. No, yes, that, very good. Very good. Good job. Good job. Yeah, you yeah. can try dance. Okay. How does that sound good? Hmm. So this is what I got for her, y'all. Hmm. Smell real good. I like it. Okay, do it. Okay, we ready for you. Good job, good job, good job. Remember the facials because Journey did without me telling her. Now, one, two, three. Four, okay, five, remember your facials. Seven, remember your facials. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three. Uh-uh. The last part. You didn't go back out again. Y'all all doing the last part wrong. Okay, here comes Jory. Jory, take your shoes off, baby. Jory, let's see you okay. do the trial dance. Jory's trying out this year, y'all. 
By the time y'all see this vlog, we'll know a team thing. Oh, no, 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 y'all won't know because they drop after this vlog come out. Okay, hold on, let me do your counts. Remember the facial. So far, Journey did the best facial. Jai, you did your routine the best. Journey did performance the best. Let's see what you're going to do the best. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, three, four, five. Careful, baby. You got to tuck that head. You didn't do the roll right. You didn't tuck that head. That's why you couldn't go over right. You didn't tuck a roll. Okay. You forgot to tuck a roll. You didn't tuck a roll. Okay, you didn't do it right. Good. You didn't do it right. You didn't do it right. You didn't tuck a roll. What is it called? Most, most improved. <laughs> You didn't pop up the job. This is your first year here. Journey. You didn't you did really good with your performance. I love to watch your performance. Jaya, you were very clean and tight, so I like that about you. You were clean and tight, but not tight, and, and, and it wasn't giving right. Okay, it's giving the shackery, the the fuckery, and the shackery. More footage from the stalker. <laughs> Who's the stalker? Um, they never outside playing in the yard. Maybe that'll be remedied in the new place. Anyway, I um, I don't know if you guys had heard this or not, but Keisha's, Keisha's case, her stalkery case, has been assigned a new case number. I'm still showing it assigned to Judge Manning. I don't know if it's happening at Judge Manning's, but TPOs are not televised. Once upon a time, TPOs were televised, more than likely due to the pandemic. Um, I don't know that family court will be seen, um, but it has a new case number. The original case number was dismissed on the 21st due to lack of service. Um, that's what it was listing, that the, um, the respondent was not served. It appears to me, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but what's been documented, I don't see that there's been service on the latest case, but the day after the case was uh, dismissed on 321, on 322, there was another um, case. Um, there was a new case uploaded with the same details stalking ex parte temporary protective order okay um and the petition i think they may have granted the temporary because i think they just do that off the rip um just based off of you know kind of face argument and then it goes to the hearing so maybe that was an extension maybe they needed to refile it to get an extension um for the ex parte, um, the ex parte <laughs> TPO, um, and that was uh, filed and granted on three twenty two. Um, they uploaded the plaintiff's original petition, and they um, uploaded a case initi initiation form three twenty six. They attempted service, and it is not showing as served yet okay um when was 326 i think that was last week right 326 was last week tuesday so um ma'am has not yet been served at least what's been updated in the system so that's all i got guys i don't know anything else that's all i know so that's all i know um that's it Okay, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, going and watching a Keisha video is such a downer. Keisha want to be Joe Jackson so bad, okay? She wants to be Kris Jenner. She wants to be Sonya Norwood. She wants to be Christina Aguilera's mama. She wants to be... Damn, what was Britney Spears' parents' name? Girl, she wants to be a momager. Hey, my mangoes. She wants to be a momager, okay? Girl. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. If you guys are looking for me later, you can find me over on Real Talk Bougie. It will be a little bit later on um, because yesterday I did a marathon day over there, and I will be back. <clears throat> However, I had to come over here first um, because I had to handle that business um, with you guys. Um, but I will be over there later. We've got lots of business to handle. Um, 
And so find me over there. Guys, I just want to remind you guys, I'm going to throw it out. Let me put the link out now. Don't forget that if you guys have a question, if you guys need some help, you know so someone who's going through something, have no fear. Free advice is here. And you know what that means. Wait, hold on. Let me find it. Hold on. You know the free advice. You know where it's coming from. You know. Wait, let me, let me find it. Guys, dear Fran is back. Okay. <laughs> I've like low key gotten some letters here and there. Um, so I, I don't know why some people message me on dear Fran and it is not a dear Fran letter. But if you have a question, a situation, a love situation, how do I, Fran, what happened? Fran, what do you think, sis? I just need some help. You can go ahead and you can write me. Go ahead, write me. Send me, holla at me, okay? Send me a little note and I will be glad to try to help you, sis, because sis, sis may need some help, right? So let me let me get the, the URL up here for y'all. Okay, don't forget. Sis may need help, okay? I don't want to have to say he don't want you, boo boo. If you need, if you need some reassurance, he don't want you, boo boo. I will be the one to do it because clearly you're not listening to your friends and family. If it, if this is a case for he don't want you, boo boo, just understand that sis gonna tell you the real, okay? Um, but yes, go ahead, dear Fran. We are. I mean, I don't know. We're accepting letters, okay? Don't forget. Um, I just dropped the link. Uh, let me, I'm going to pin it right here. I'm going to put it in the description box and the first pin comment. Um, if you, you know, have no fear, dear Fran is here. Okay. If you have a question and you want bougie gang's opinion about it, let us know. Okay. We got to get back serious on some dear Fran. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, I think we're good. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. This was so much fun. Guys, have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys over on Real Talk Bougie a little bit later on. Set your notifications, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you guys later. How's it going, Big Dap? Big Dap.
if, I don't know if Olivia Pope is still here, but that's funny. Stop wasting the court's time, especially since we can't, since it won't be streamed so we can point and laugh, okay? This is yet another reason I can't subscribe to her. It's awful, right? Girl, she wants to be Chris. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. Love you. Mean it. See you later. Bye.